So quantum optics again. And here we have, of course, beta barium borate being illuminated by polarized 405 nanometer light along with a seed laser of 810 nanometers that's been polarized before entering into the beta barium borate crystal here and then being sent via a fiber coupler to multi-mode fiber and then this is being sent then to polarization controllers with one end of the uh, coupled light guided then through a polarimeter to measure the polarization state of the photons here see the power then and the interference pattern because the other end of the light uh, path I should say that's being sent to through the polarization controllers is actually being sent to this thing here which is a loop of uh, first of all it's actually a fiber beam splitter the beam splitter is actually integrated in this silver casing here this is polarization maintaining fiber kind of twists it around a little bit but actually for polarization maintenance that's all right because it can take a little bit of strain and not affect the polarization state that much and it's actually sent then, first of all, it's split and uh, it's sent then at either end through a loop of 10 meters of polarization maintaining fiber in this steel uh, casing in order to isolate it. And this creates what's called a Sagnac uh, loop or Sagnac interferometer loop because although one end of the light is output via the coupler here to the Sagnac loop and it's able to then pass through two opposite directions in the loop. So one is going, if you like, clockwise and the other is going counterclockwise, the horizontal or vertical state of the quantum angle light is going maybe in one direction clockwise and the vertical or and or horizontal state of the light entangled in the other direction is going counterclockwise and so both of these will actually interfere with each other because it turns out as we all know living on the earth the earth rotates and so it is possible to actually use this as a form of gyroscope another thing that's interesting about this is that one can use Sagnac interferometers as seismic wave detectors because it turns out there are certain types of seismic waves that cause rotations during an earthquake say it turns out actually a lot of the shallow earthquakes and um, the earthquake uh, seismic waves can cause rotations and some of these as in the case of the La Aquila earthquake that happened in 2009 in Italy it can actually cause uh, even um, large objects such as statues to uh, and, uh, and tombstones to in fact uh, rotate so there's this earthquake that happened in 2009 in central Italy in a place called L'Aquila and it caused quite a bit of rotation of objects and uh, a lot of seismologists have assumed that uh, in fact it's the shallower earthquake waves seismic waves perhaps uh, Rayleigh waves uh, that have if you like 
before they have breached the surface and escaped from the Earth's crust, they in fact go from a, a transa translational uh, rotation to a uh, sort of a um, um, adjacent rotation, and this actually then causes objects on the surface to rotate around an axis, and then therefore it should be possible to detect some of these rotational seismic waves using a Sagnac interferometer, because the rotation should actually cause then a change to the interference pattern recorded as the waves constructively and deconstructively interfere, they pass through the loop again, and this time they actually enter back through the coupler and back through the other polarization controller and then into the polarimeter for measurement or detection. And so this type of experiment has been done with classical light, but this is a version of it using my own setup here to do it using quantum light and it would be nice to make this setup portable in order to perhaps bring it to a location where one could actually detect seismic waves during earthquakes say or um, sort of passive seismic waves may be given off by a geological features such as a mar in a uh, caldera which in principle should be shallow enough, should generate shallow enough seismic waves to uh, create an appreciable